Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Boston. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Tuesday, May 21st. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the weather report, then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, science, and entertainment. But first, you'll be interested to know 97 years ago, today in 1927. American aviator Charles Lindbergh completed the first nonstop solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean, traveling from New York to Paris in the monoplane, Spirit of St. Louis, in about 33 and a half hours. So now you know. And now you know what time it is. It's time for the weather report. In the Boston area. This morning, it's partly cloudy and feels like 54 degrees with six mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 8.05 and it will rise again tomorrow at 5.16. It looks like we're in for some clouds through mid-morning, then gradual clearing with a high near 64 and wind of three to seven mile per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy with a low around 54. For all you beach runners out there, the first high tide Tuesday will be at 10.45 a.m. with a low tide at 4.45. The nearshore buoy at Cape Cod Bay reads 53 degrees for the water temperature. Looking ahead in the weather, Wednesday will be sunny and hot with a high near 88 degrees. Thursday will be partly sunny with a slight chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms at a high near 87. The chance of showers continues Thursday night. Friday will be mostly sunny and slightly cooler with a high near 81. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning send you. In local news, Boston police are alerting residents of significant traffic impacts due to President Joe Biden's visit on Tuesday. Expect street closures near Logan Airport, Back Bay, and the Seaport District from noon to 8 p.m. Delays are anticipated in these areas. Specific street closures haven't been detailed. Biden's visit to Boston follows a trip to New Hampshire. His last Boston appearance was in December at a James Taylor concert for the Biden Victory Fund. Now on to sports. Scotty Scheffler's court date is postponed to June 3rd after his arrest before the PGA Championship's second round. The world's number one golfer was detained for second degree assault of a police officer and reckless driving while trying to navigate traffic near Valhalla Golf Club. Despite the incident, Scheffler finished in a four-way tie for eighth place at 13 under in the tournament. In local sports, the Red Sox on the road beat the Rays 5-0. to zero. Tonight, the Sox and Rays are back at it, with Cooper Criswell on the bump. And the Celtics are at home for Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Finals, taking on the Pacers. In top news, a UK judge ruled that Craig Wright forged evidence in his campaign to prove he is Bitcoin's creator, Satoshi Nakamoto. Justice James Meller stated Wright lied and committed forgery extensively, using the courts to support his false claims. This decision, stemming from a lawsuit by the Crypto Open Patent Alliance, prevents Wright from further lawsuits in the UK. The ruling has already led to Wright dropping multiple related lawsuits and significantly impacted the price of his cryptocurrency, Bitcoin Satoshi Vision. And the mystery continues. In business news, 
Shares of Australia's Star Entertainment plunged 10% on Tuesday after Hard Rock International denied involvement in a proposed takeover. The confusion followed a 20% surge the previous day when Star announced a takeover offer from a consortium purportedly including Hard Rock hotels and resorts. Hard Rock's denial has cast doubt on the validity of the offer, leading to significant investor uncertainty. Stay tuned for this one fleshing out later this week. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is back up over 71,000. Ethereum is 3,600. And Solana is $183. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the Boston area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Canton, Wellesley, Hingham, Brookline, and Framingham. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk tech. Neuralink's first human brain chip implant has experienced a 75% failure rate in electrode-bearing threads, causing many to retract and shut off. Adjustments to the decoding algorithm have maintained and even improved performance metrics. The patient, Noland Arba, expressed initial disappointment but remains hopeful. Neuralink plans to implant a second patient in June with FDA approval and will address thread movement by implanting the electrodes deeper into the brain tissue from three to five millimeters to eight millimeters. And in entertainment news, Kevin Costner's Western epic, Horizon, an American saga, received a seven minute standing ovation at Cannes, moving Costner to tears. During his speech, he expressed gratitude and promised three more installments of the franchise with the sequel slated for August. The film, a $100 million passion project, explores the American West's expansion through diverse perspectives. Despite some walkouts, the film's compelling preview for the next installment captivated the audience. Horizon features an ensemble cast, including Sienna Miller and Sam Worthington, and opens in U.S. theaters on June 28th, followed by the second part on August 16th. Well, alrighty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the aviator, Charles Lindbergh. He said, Life is a culmination of the past, an awareness of the present, and an indication of a future beyond knowledge. It's the quality that gives a touch of divinity to matter. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the weather reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in Boston.